I'm John Keogh and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology in Tallaght, soon to be the Technological University Dublin. I'm the co-author of a book entitled uh, Adults, Mathematics and Work. The book is inspired by the uh, idea that people know more about mathematics than they think they do and uh, use it more often than they realise. The book concludes with uh, a number of tools that emerge from that research that would help people to realise that they are uh, mathematics capable and uh, to help them develop their confidence in their ability with mathematics. Uh, so part of my mo motivation was to somehow capture the depth and breadth of uh, competence and knowledge in the workplace that, uh, that was otherwise not recognised, although valued. Redundancy is devastating for anybody for uh, unfortunate enough to have to confront it. But I have great friends too, I'm very fortunate in that uh, one of them pointed out to me that I didn't get stupid overnight, that this wasn't my fault. And that set off a train of thought that said, well, I didn't get stupid overnight, I know stuff. Um, what's missing is the formal recognition of what I know so that I can um, use that as leverage to get my career started again. Unless a person has a certification, they are uh, stuck. It confines a person's choices and, uh, and the decisions that they might make about their future. It can trap them in a dead-end career and make them vulnerable to uh, you know, volatile employment um, uh, circumstances and even zero-hour contracts and so on. But competence in work is about much more than uh, the qualification that, uh, that gets you there. The disjoint between the classroom and the workplace was that mathematics is explicit in the classroom and it's uh, invisible in the workplace. Now, so invisible that people were convinced they didn't do mathematics. Uh, but having completed the survey and, uh, and having uh, gone through the case study and so on, people readily uh, recognised the mathematics that they were doing. And uh, when that was reflected back to them, they realised that actually I do know stuff about mathematics. I can't do calculus, but it's not all about calculus. It's about recognising that a person is mathematics capable by dint of their experience. The, uh, the self-perception of, uh, of not being able to know something is constricting. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's mistaken, it's uh, profoundly unjust and, uh, and I think that providing the opportunity to, or the, to build a platform for development is really crucial and, and can have long-term implications not only for the adult but for their children and for their family and across their, their uh, generations and their extended families and their society. The context in which people find themselves now, especially in this fourth industrial revolution where uh, whole tranches of jobs are going to disappear and, uh, and people are going to wonder, well, what do we do now? You know, where, uh, I've worked maybe 15 years in this company and nobody wants what I do anymore. This is a support for them to say, well, you're not trapped. You do have knowledge, you are smart. Um, and what do you need is help to recontextualize what you know to embrace a new context. I, I would like the uh, government or the policy makers to expand their definition of competence in the national framework of qualifications to include competence in the workplace. While we recognize uh, competence in the formal qualifications uh, framework, we don't teach it explicitly, uh, we don't assess it explicitly, uh, it's just awarded uh, and how a person may have an abundance of real workplace competence even if their formal uh, education is uh, more modest. The experience that I have in, in, in class is that, and it happens over and over again, that after class uh, people who declared that they were going to fail, they come to me and they say, I used to think algebra was magic, now I know I can do it. And I have no hesitation in telling them my story that uh, I too was an adult learner. Returning to learning after many years has elapsed, yeah, it's a challenge, but uh, people are smart. I'm convinced that all of the students I meet are smart. What they're missing is information, and I'm happy to share that information with them.